Hi, it's Anne here, and today's video is going to be a little get ready with me video. I am going to be playing with the Blueberry Muffin Palette from BH Cosmetics. Not looking to do anything crazy, but maybe try and play with some colors I haven't used a whole lot. Um, I've already played with this palette a couple of times. I really enjoy it. It's it's living up to its name. Like people really like this palette. I see why. It's definitely one of those palettes in the BH realm that is like that good quality palette that you like. You know what to expect um, when you get one of these palettes if you have similar palettes to this. Um, so yeah, let's just get rolling. I'm gonna say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're, whatever time you're watching this at. It's morning while I'm filming it right now. Um, got my coffee already. <laughs> Um, not supposed to be drinking coffee, but you know, it's the weekend, so I allow myself to have coffee. I've learned that I just can't live without coffee, um, and so I take it in small doses now. <laughs> uh, the reason for that is I have like GERD, uh, acid reflux, and coffee is notorious for being problematic for that. I feel like even if I don't drink coffee, it doesn't really seem like I still have issues. I think the thing with coffee that I've learned is keeping it like, so it's not in excess. If I have too much coffee, then it's like all sorts of volcanic problems. <laughs> um, but anyway, so let's get started. I'm gonna just, yeah, like I said, keep it pretty simple today. Um, don't really have a plan in mind. I got a lot of stuff to do today, so. Um, it's the weekend, but it's like one of those weekends where I do not have concealer here. I'll be right back. I need to get my concealer. I can't remember what I was saying, but um, uh, it's the weekend, but I have things, errands and things that I need to do. I've been putting off. I must be putting off, but some of it's not putting off. Also, I have an eye twitch. I don't know if you can see it. Oh no. Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> it's driving me crazy. <laughs> I'm going crazy. Um, it's only coming on and off too, this little eye twitch. It's not like an extreme eye twitch. It's very gentle. Um, just a little flutter here and there. Uh, as, as I say, I've been putting things off, but not putting things off. I am putting some things off, but um, I've realized, I was talking to a friend the other day, and so I live in Toronto, but I go back to my family home often. Um, this summer, it feels like things are kind of getting back together. I've only been, I've, I would say 50% of my summer has not been spent in the city, which for me, that's like quite a big difference um, compared to previous years where it's like, I usually just kind of go away every other weekend or so and just like for a couple days, but I've really been like going everywhere. I haven't been home home. Um, if I don't mention the products that I'm using, I'm gonna list everything below, but it's just, it's the same stuff. I'm just kind of like project panning it and using the same things over and over again to finish some stuff up. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's been inter an interesting summer. Um, we are now September and getting close to the end of September. I feel like it's different when you, like I, I don't have kids um, and I feel like friends with kids, it's like their kids went back to school and it's like, okay, they're back to school mode, back to fall mode. I'm still living the summer life a little, <laughs> um, at least trying to. I I love summer. I, I think I've concluded that summer is my favorite season. Some people are like, oh, fall is the best, spring's the best, summer's too hot. I like the hot weather. I just do. I mean, I get sick of it too. Like, I mean, there's sometimes where it's like too hot, um, but I will never fully complain, complain about that because in Canada, it gets real cold. We get a lot of snow. So, uh, what else is going on? I am going back to the office a bit more regularly now. Here and there. <laughs> Not going back probably as much as senior management would like. Because um, they don't, like, I don't get this. I'm still, okay, I'm just gonna put it out there. I am a work from home person. If I could work from home 100%, I would. I did previously, like years ago, um, I've talked about this, like over 10 years ago. No, that's not, not over 10 years ago. Yes, over 10 years ago, because it would have been 2010, somewhere in that range, um, I worked from home. So I like working from home. I don't really feel the need to go into the office. It really doesn't, uh, doesn't add a whole lot of value <laughs> to me. 
Um, I'm gonna go in, I don't think I've used cheat day, so I'm gonna go in with cheat day, which is this guy. I'm gonna go in the crease with cheat day. Um, but yeah, so I've been going into the office a little bit more. I mean, it was kind of nice to see a few colleagues that I haven't seen in a while. Um, but it's like, okay, I've seen you now, I'm good. Like, I don't need to go back in for like a month or so <laughs> to see you again. It's fine. Um, but it's funny, a lot of people comment on, commented on my hair because, okay, actually I should just talk about that too. So my hair is, it's a different kind of purple. <laughs> um, I don't know how well on camera it's gonna look more purple. So I realize, so the hair dye that I've been using um, is my, the hairdresser that did my hair back in the spring, he gave me like a bunch of extra hair dye to use. And so that's what I've been using over, like I've kind of spread it out over the past several months. Um, it's very, it was very blue based. So on camera, my hair was actually showing up pretty blue. Um, and I realized how blue based it was now that I've used this. So this um, is Arctic Fox and it's the, originally it used to be called Purple Rain. It's now called Purple AF. And yeah, so it's definitely like, it's more of a redder based purple than what I've been using. Um, I, I should also show like, you, again, you can't really see it on camera, um, but it does dye, like this is my natural hair color with the purple on top. And it did dye my natural brown hair color. So if you have brown hair, it will dye it, uh, if, as long as it's not too dark. Like my hair is like a mid, I feel like it's like a mid-tone brown. A lot of hairdressers will be like, your hair's so dark. I feel like, I mean, I guess it's summertime too. I've been outside a lot. My hair does lighten a little bit with the sun. Um, Either that or like I have really porous hair so like it seems to dye really easily. Um, very rarely do I have like a dye that doesn't turn out or like doesn't show up even though my natural hair is like a dark brown. Um, I was watching a video, who is it? I think her name's Makeup for Fun. She did a video on the new ColourPop hair dyes which I was considering buying but I wanted to try this first like Arctic Fox and maybe Maybe next time I do it, I'll try the ColourPop hair dye and just for a comparison. Um, Cause I know a lot of people are familiar with the Arctic Fox hair dye. Um, or just like, I mean, it's more of a traditional, or it's, it's been on the market for a while. Whereas the ColourPop stuff is new, but she has really, really, she has really dark hair. Like she was trying to like bleach her hair and she couldn't even ble bleach it. Um, but she was able to get a bit of color out of the one she was using. I mean, she did make a good choice in using the red. So that's generally going to be the one that's going to show up if you have dark hair. Um, but yeah, I see someone like her and think my hair looks relatively the same depth, but clearly her hair is a lot darker than my hair, which it doesn't look like it is, but it is. I feel like I'm getting a little washed out. It's really dark this morning. Um, I shouldn't say it's really dark. It's just kind of cloudy-ish. Um, it was kind of trying to rain a little bit there, which I think we kind of need. It's really bizarre because it's like and getting end of September, but we're still in like the mid 20s. I think yesterday they were saying like it could feel like 30 something. I'm like, wow, that's kind of weird, but whatever. Like I said, winter will be here soon enough, so I'm totally okay with having some warm weather for a little bit longer. Let's maybe go in the outer corner with this color. It's pretty dark, decadent. We're gonna go with that one. Mm, no, let's do stud muffin. Let's start with this guy. Let's see where that takes us. It's a bit sparkly, so it could be interesting. So yeah, the whole hair thing. So when I saw some coworkers, um, it's funny when I did it back in the spring, that was when they were talking about, you know, return to work and all the rule well, return to work. I've been working the whole time, return to the office. And you were like, what a funny time to do it. Cause we're gonna all be back in the office. And then again, when I saw coworkers and like they, I just dyed it. So they didn't see it like this. They saw like the faded version. Um, if you've seen a couple of my previous videos, like just recently, you'd see like, it's pretty faded there. Um, they're like, oh, it was a great time to do it. You know, when you're not in the office. And I'm like, the more I think about that, I'm like, what does it matter if my hair is purple? Like, I don't like, I don't get that. I don't get the whole professional. I mean, there's a difference between looking untidy and unkempt and unhygienic and then having purple hair <laughs> like purple hair it's just hair like some people are born with blonde hair some people are born with red hair some people have black hair 
Maybe I wasn't born with purple hair, but it's just hair. Like, I never understand this whole professional hair thing. Um, and I mean, I can't complain about this. This is something that um, I know a lot of people, like black people particularly, get a lot of grief about professional hair, like braids not being professional or like all sorts of things. It's like, I don't get that. I don't get it. Like, I really don't get it. And I'm like, you know what? I just realized that <laughs> I dyed my hair this weekend and next week I have a pretty important meeting with somebody fairly high up in the organization. And I'm like, oh well, <laughs> my hair's gonna be purple. If they can't take the quality of my words and the quality of my work as professional, and they're just gonna look at my hair and think I'm unprofessional, then that's on them, not on me. Um, and that's something, I don't know if I've talked about this before. One of the reasons why I like the work from home is to me, it levels the playing field a little. Um, as somebody that is, my eyes are very uneven. As somebody who's very short, like I'm very short and I'm tiny. I, a lot of people treat me like a child. It's not so bad now that I'm getting a little bit older, but like definitely in my mid twenties and my thirties, for sure, people like, they just underestimate you. They think you're a child. Um, whereas working from home, being behind a camera, being in the digital realm, we're all the same size. <laughs> Like, it doesn't matter. Um, it doesn't matter how tall I am. <laughs> like, actually, I met a new coworker the other day, and he was like, oh, I thought you were taller. <laughs> I mean, I made a comment first, because I, I put it out there, like, right away. Because I, I try and, like, warn people now. <laughs> like, when you meet me, I am smaller in person than I am on camera, just so you know. Because um, it does, some people, it really catches them off guard. Some people, it's like, because I can see it in their face, too. Like, people can't hide it. Um, and other people, I can tell, like, they don't really react. Um, but... Yeah, like I just, that's one of the reasons why I like work from home is because I feel like I'm on a le level playing field with other people. Um, I don't get treated for how I look. I get treated for what I'm saying and the work that I'm putting out. So, so yeah, I just thought that was very funny that a lot, like a lot of people have commented. Um, and I mean, I guess, so like, to put some context and I work in the government right now. I used to work in IT, like tech, tech firms. And like even tech people in like a non-tech company, like tech in the government, tech people dress like tech people. <laughs> and I kind of like that. I think that's one thing I've realized. I'm not a businessy person. I'm not a suits person. I, I learned that very quickly. Like I moved to Toronto a while ago and if you ever walk down like Bay Street on like a Tuesday morning at 7 30 8 a.m you see all the business people walking and I like I went to school when I moved here and I was kind of walking to school and I was like wow yeah I really don't feel this doesn't feel right like I thought I guess because at the time I thought I wanted to work in like you know a big corner office down in the city and I thought you know walking with all these people I'd feel energized I'd feel like yeah, this is where I belong. This is what's meant to be. I'm going to be that like big boss person. <laughs> you know, that's, that's not me. That's really not me at all. <laughs> um, I mean, maybe I'm the big boss person, but not in a suit. That's for sure. So anyway, I just found it very interesting um, that a lot of people commented on the hair and the professionalism thing. So I'm going to go in with sweet. So, you don't know this, but I know this. I'm avoiding a big elephant in the room, mainly because I know once I start talking about it, I'm not gonna stop. Um, I booked a trip. <laughs> I'm going away in like a couple weeks. I literally booked a trip like three weeks before leaving kind of thing. I've never done that in my life. <laughs> booked a trip that short in advance of going somewhere. Um, the shimmers in this palette, by the way, are so pretty. This eyeshadow kind of combo reminds me a lot of a trio in the Charlotte Tilbury palette that I have, the Starry Eyes to Hypnotize palette, and I kind of want to maybe do a side-by-side -side, um, to see if I can do a, like, this palette's like $100 and this palette is like $10. Because <laughs> um, I think I can create a very similar look, between, similar look between the two palettes. So yeah, I booked a trip. I am going to Disney World. <laughs> I am so excited! So I apologize to anybody out there watching that doesn't care about Disney World. Um, I would say I'm definitely not, like there's full on channels that people like Disney channels and they're hardcore Disney people. Uh, I know Jessica Braun and her husband, well her husband's like a travel agent for Disney World. Um, 
I'm not super hardcore Disney World, but I, I love Disney World. I love it. <laughs> I love it a whole lot. So I'm super excited to go. Um, the last time I went was almost 20 years ago, I think. I think it was 2002. If I can find some pictures, I, I might post some. It was when we took my nephew. We took my nephew um, when he was like six or seven and I was still in school, so it was kind of like a good time. Like, we we're like, okay, this is a good time. He's a good age, he's gonna remember the trip. It didn't go so great. I mean, it didn't go badly, but there were a few things that were kind of funny. Um, he doesn't like rides, we found out. I mean, it was his first big trip. He really had not been anywhere. I mean, I'm, I'm talking about this now. He's in his 20s now, so it's kind of funny. Um, Cause he was, I mean, he's just a little kid then. Um, but yeah, he, he didn't like rides and he had like a meltdown with the Snow White scary, what is it? Snow White scary adventure or something. Cause it had the word scary in it, which that ride I learned does not exist anymore. Um, which is kind of funny, but I'm just going to go back in with that cheat day and try and blend some of this outer corner stuff. Uh, so yeah, he didn't like that. He didn't like, we must have gone to Universal because I think that's where Shrek is. And he lost his mind, and it was one of those 3D things. I'm like, just take the glasses off and close your eyes. <laughs> I still made him go on the ride, though. Um, but yeah, like, because he was excited at first, but then when you go through the Shrek lineup, there's a part like where the pigs, I think, are in jail and stuff, and that just scared him. And yeah, he did not like it. He did not like it. It's just funny because I have fallout everywhere. I gotta wipe all that off um, before we do my face. But yeah, like. I guess because when I was little, I loved rides. Um, I mean, I was scared of Michael Jackson's Thriller video, but I was like three when that came out. So I feel justified in that. <laughs> um, but yeah, by the time I was like six or seven, I was all about the rides. So the first time that I went to Disney World, I'm gonna see if I can find the picture. I won't be able to put it in this video because I'm gonna have to find it at home. Um, when we went, like you take the little, you park and then you get on the little trolley. I'm not sure the trolleys are running right now, but there was like a little trolley that would take you from your car to the entrance of the park, because it was so far. Um, and I wouldn't say I was a shy kid. I was actually pretty outgoing when I was little, but we were all, like if you were in a public place, you were to be seen and not heard. And you stayed, like I stayed with my parents. Like I did not want to, you know, you, you were there. Cause if you ran away, if you like did anything, well, we got off the trolley and Mickey Mouse, was right there at the entrance. I, bolt, my mom was like, she told me, she was like, I was just shocked, you just bolted. I took off and like ran and gave him the biggest hug. I must have just like, probably scared the crap out of him. <laughs> it, and I would have been so tiny. Cause I was like maybe four, three or four. And I mean, I was, I was tiny. I've always been tiny. So I would be just like a little tiny person. I was enamored by this like giant mouse and like just amazed at, it is really like a magical place. Um, definitely like, so I think I've, like it's one of those things too. I think for me, Disney World, there's a lot of nostalgia there, which I think like if you've never been and you go as an adult, maybe you won't get that feeling. I don't know. I don't know what it would be like cause I don't know what that's like. Um, so yeah, like that was the first time I went. I think I've been to Disney World, I wanna say four times, three or four times. Um, because there would have been that time when I was really little. I feel like I must have gone once more when I was a bit older, like six or so, or eight, somewhere in that range. Um, I actually danced at Disney World. So, you don't know, I used to do a thing called Highland Dancing. Uh, it's the kill to the bagpipes, you know. <laughs> Terrible bagpipes. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't really like bagpipes a whole lot, and I had to dance to them for years. So, so yeah, um, we danced. I think it was at Epcot that we danced at. It would have been like an international festival thing, um, and we did a show. And we got to do a behind the scenes thing. And actually, one of the things that was so cool to me was um, we got to kind of see. I never really understood the whole like cell thing. So animation, like there's like a especially old school animation. I mean, it's not done like this now, but like the old, old animation where you have like the painted background and then the characters are like cells on top and they layer everything, just blew my mind. I thought that was the coolest thing ever to learn. Um, but yeah, we danced there. I don't really remember a whole lot. I do remember, again, I do remember they used to have a ride, this extraterrestrial thing with 
Um, I must have been there a couple years in a row because I remember going and doing that and then going again later with people who had never been on it and being like, ooh, you're going to find out <laughs> what's going to happen. So it was like the alien thing. So there's like an alien in the middle and then he breaks out. That ride no longer exists anymore, which kind of makes me sad because, um, again, I'm a bit nostalgic about that. Although I feel like that might not be a COVID approved <laughs> ride because I remember there was like air that would blow on you and I feel like that's probably not great anymore. Um, but yeah. So, so yeah, I'm super looking forward to that. Oh, another thing too, when we took, when we took my nephew. So at that time I had really, really blonde hair. Um, and I had a cast member stop me and she was like, you know, I, I, I don't know what we were doing or we were in line or something. And she's like, have you ever considered working here? And I was like, she's like, you could totally play Alice in Wonderland. Like you look like Alice from Alice in Wonderland. I totally would have like thought you worked here. Um, and you were just kind of on like, you know, taking a day off and with family. I was like, oh, thank you. I was so flattered at the time. <laughs> I thought that was such a good flattery like thing that was flattering. Now I know how like hard those cast members work. And I'm like, I don't think I could do that job at all. Um, I don't know. I think it'd be kind of fun. Like I know that they work really hard. But don't you think playing a Disney princess, I mean, Alice is not really a princess, but playing a Disney character at Disney World would kind of be fun. I mean, kids are loving to see you. I mean, there's gonna be all sorts of things like kids throw up on you and like kids cry and scream and you probably don't get paid very much. Um, but for 90% of the time, I mean, kids are just so thrilled to see you. <laughs> and that's gonna feel pretty good. And like the fact that you can make people's day just by like saying hello to them I don't know, I think that's kind of neat. I really don't like this eyeliner. This is the eyeliner in my Project Pan. It's just a little too creamy and it just moves around everywhere. So whenever I do sort of blue eyeshadow, I kind of like throwing on a bit of a blue eyeliner or something like a purple eyeliner, something a little different. Even though I've already done the black, I'm gonna go over and do, I don't know how well this is gonna work because this is a darker outer corner than I've done um, with the, the other blue, but um, yeah, I, I just like to, this is where I like to play with colored eyeliner um, and layer it over top, like layer it over top even black eyeliner. So I still get the depth of the black, but then I get to mix in a bit of color as well. Yeah, I don't know how well this is gonna show up because that shadow is pretty dark not really go on my waterline at all. So yeah, hopefully you can see that. Like, it's a little different, but it's the same. Like, it's still got the depth of the black. I have so much fallout everywhere. I need to focus. I'm gonna talk too much. Like I said, talk too much. As soon as I start talking about Disney World, I can't stop. <laughs> I think I'm just super excited to be taking a trip, too. I... I'm going to be clear that I'm also super nervous about the vid. Um, I think my excitement for everything is overriding my fear of that. Um, I'm trying to be very cautious in the week leading up to leaving. I don't want to get sick before I leave. I had a coworker that did back in the springtime and she couldn't go on her trip because she got sick like right before she left. I was like, yeah, I don't want that to happen. And I want to enjoy the trip. Like, I don't even want to get sick and still get have enough time to get better. Because, like, I was reading about somebody who got sick um, and they lost their sense of taste. And I'm like, that really sucks <laughs> um, to go away and have lost your sense of taste. I mean, it takes away from a fairly large factor of part of the trip. Especially if you're going to Epcot. Because right now it's the Epcot... It's so funny, it's like the Food and Wine Festival, but it's like from July to like November. Like it's so long. It's like half a year. Which I mean is maybe not a bad thing. It gives more opportunity for people to try stuff. Um, okay, I need to like wipe off this stuff. And I think I'm just going to throw my mascara on. So I just curl my lashes and then I'm going to throw the Maybelline Sky High on. And then we'll come back and do the face and keep talking about Disney World. I apologize again if you don't like Disney World and vacations in general. We'll just talk about vacation stuff in general. 
Okay, I'm back. I've tried to get rid of some of that fallout and I've put some mascara on. I'm gonna put this Wet n Wild Glass Primer on. I've had a bit of redness. Um, I've been outside a lot and my face somehow just reacts to the sun. I've just learned it's the sun. It's not my sunscreen, it's not my skincare, it's not the water at home. It's the sun. Well, I think it might be. I think my skin's just more sensitive to the sun because of the skincare that I use now, like, you know, easing. I mean, I've, I've started using vitamin C, but this has been a problem before that. But just, yeah, like, I think my skin's just more sensitive now because of all that. So, so yeah, I, I booked this trip, like, so last minute. I've been looking at booking something local. Um, somebody I know is doing one of those, like, little yurt. They have, like, these little bubble tent things um, on, like, a farm thing. I was like, yeah, that sounds, like, really fun. Something that I could take Harley to for a few days. And then I started thinking about... In 2020, so also I should mention, I don't know how, if I mentioned this, I think I did, that I was supposed to go to Italy. That's, that's not happening. We're not going now. Um, we were supposed to go in 2020, tried to reschedule my own times. We're going to reschedule this fall. I talked about in one of my last videos, like last get ready with me, that I was kind of nervous about that. I really was not feeling it. After I talked to my friend, she was kind of in the same boat, not really feeling it. She had other reasons. Um, so yeah, we just decided it's not the right time. It's not the right time. We're not going to enjoy ourselves. Let's not do it. Um, and then, so I was thinking about it. Like, back in 2020, I had actually signed up. I wanted to do a 10K race, like a Disney run. Um, I didn't realize how quickly it sells out. And so I signed up for a half marathon. <laughs> like, a crazy person. I was like, I can do it. Like, I know I can do it. Especially if I don't have to run the whole thing. Like, I can walk, jog it. Um, and I could do it. I'd probably be dead after, but I could do it. Um, well, obviously, I had to cancel that. Because that was supposed to be October... 2020. Um, I got a, my refund from that, which was good because I was worried that I'd lost. I mean, I'd only booked the run. I hadn't booked anything else. Um, so yeah, I started thinking about that. And that and my friend that I talked about going to Italy, she's like, I don't know, maybe like, maybe you can just go do a resort thing. Cause we had another friend that just did a resort thing. And I was like, man, I kind of want to go to Disney World. <laughs> so I looked it up and I'm like, I can do this. Like, I mean, it's not going to be super cheap. The, the flight, I'll probably have a video where I talk about some of these details a bit more. Um, I am going to maybe try and vlog it too. <laughs> we'll see. I want to enjoy the trip, but I also want to vlog and take photos. Um, so it's going to be interesting to try and figure that out. But um, the flight, the flight was like the cheapest thing. It was like 350 bucks Canadian to get to Florida. Um, and I'm actually, I booked... Uh, a package with Disney so it's like the tickets and the room uh, together so I'm actually staying on like in a Walt Disney Resort which I'm super pumped about I've never stayed I keep saying on campus <laughs> in my head but like I've never stayed in a Disney Resort before I've always stayed we've always stayed somewhere like super cheap um, and I was gonna do that. I was like I'm gonna stay somewhere che super cheap um, I am traveling solo though so I feel like being on campus is gonna be maybe a bit safer. Um, I feel like just for peace of mind, it's gonna be easier. Um, so, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. So I totally booked it super last minute. Um, there was a bit of like coordination. I like kind of sent my boss sort of like, well, I booked like the rest of my days off for the rest of this year. Um, and I kind of sent her a message. I was like, hey, just so you know, I know I sent you a lot of requests. So here's an email summarizing. Is this good? <laughs> It was like a few weeks away and she's like, yeah, I see no problem. That was another thing too, like work. There's been a few like things that have changed at work. I think I, again, talked about this with the Italy trip. Now I have some more definitive deadlines with some of my work stuff, which was sort of up in the air. So this worked out well. Like I figured out like, yes, I can go. Um, there's enough buffer before anything big happens and all the pre-work is almost all done anyway. So, um, it actually will be a good sort of lull time to go as we're waiting for sort of launch stuff for work. I know that probably doesn't make sense to a whole lot of people, but it's kind of like, you know, when you work on something and then you have to release it, we actually are going to have a buffer before releasing because of some other stuff. So uh, it works out really well. Um, the other thing was Harley. So again, I kind of messed with my brother. I know you're at work. I don't know if you check your phone, but <laughs> if you're checking this, do you want to look after Harley for a few days? Um, so again, I'm not going for very long. I'm going for like five days. Um, I am super nervous about leaving Harley. <laughs> I don't want to say super nervous because 
he's going to be staying with family, and it's so it'll be fine. Staying with my brother and my dad, and I mean he's my dad's kind of looked after him for an evening here and there, um, so I know he's comfortable being at home without me there, and all that stuff. But I thought about this like since I've had Harley, I've had Harley for two years. I have never been more than like eight hours apart from him. <laughs> um, I think I want to say eight hours. Like it's not not a lot. Don't at me with the eyebrows, okay? We're gonna just go in and do them and pretend like they're beautiful. Because uh, <laughs> they're just a hot mess. We know this. You can see what I'm starting with, guys. It's a hot mess. So yeah, I'm a little, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna be really sad because I'm so used to him. And I know he's gonna be okay. I hope he doesn't get like too upset. He gets a little clingy. Like the past few days I've been not at home a lot. Like I said, I went back to the office. I was out with my brother. I've been out like doing errands. And the other day he was pretty clingy. He's not a clingy dog, but he likes to come sit on the couch with me, especially more in the winter time because it's cold. So he likes to be on the couch. But in the summertime, not really. Well, the other day it was like three times he came and like, ah, sympathy. Well, he doesn't like sit on me, but he likes to sit next to me. And when he's feeling more clingy, he likes to face me on the couch. When he's not feeling clingy, he'll sleep with his head at the other end. But when he's feeling a little like, I miss you, he sits and like faces me. And it's so cute with his little blip tongue. Um, so, so yeah, that's going to be interesting. But yeah, it's a short trip. Um, I wish I could make it a little bit longer now that I've... So I've been kind of doing some planning. I have a plan but it's a flexible plan. I'm kind of excited to go by myself because I can do my own thing. I'm not having to coordinate with anyone else. And, oh, hi. Oh, hi, I hear you. Anybody want to see Harley? He was clearly just having a nap. And he woke up. What are you doing? What are you doing? Here's Harley. Here's Harley. He just had a haircut. Do you can see his face? I just posted a video of him on my Instagram where I was taking him to the groomer. So, he's been to the groomer. He's beautiful with his little blub. He's so cute. You are the cutest. You know you're the cutest. You're still half awake. He's not a morning dog. <laughs> not a morning dog at all, which is fine with me. Okay, you chill. So yeah, like I've got a plan. So when you book, again, I'll probably maybe do a video on all this. Uh, like, there's lots of other videos out there too, but I want to do my own video. Um, when you book Walt Disney World, you buy your ticket, but then you have to reserve the park. So I ended up getting a four day pass. Um, I did get Park Hopper. Yes, Harley, I know. I did get Park Hopper, which I'm not sure I really should have, but did it anyway. Um, so I've reserved, there's like four main parks. I've reserved a different park for each day. One thing that I didn't realize that kind of messed me up is it's the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. And I was like, oh, okay, that might be fun, but you have to pay an extra ticket for that. So they actually closed the park for regular visitors at like six o'clock. And I was like, what? And it's like a hundred, dollars or something for like it's like a full price ticket to buy and I was like huh yeah I and I was like well maybe like I was like maybe it's worth it and I was kind of looking up I to me honestly I don't think it's worth it had I been smart I would have maybe got a three-day pass and then booked just that as a fourth ticket like as a fourth I don't know I don't know what I would have done it just and again if it had been maybe like $60, which would have been expensive, but I'm like, you know what? I'm there, let's do it. But like, it's like a hundred, and that's US, so it's like a hundred and something, I think it's 109 or 106 US, so that's even more Canadian. And I was like, yeah, it's, and it's more just like, like there's a trick or treating, there's like little dance parties, there's like meet and greets with people, like, eh, I don't really care about that so much. Um, my priority is, this sounds kind of lame, but my priority is like going on the rides. Um, I want to go on the rides and see the things. So um, I am going to be one of those people that's going early in the morning. I'm up in the early anyway with Harley. Like I'm just, I don't sleep in anymore. So I figure let's take advantage. I'm going to do early morning. So my plan for most days is like be there early morning, do some rides early morning, 
take it easy mid-afternoon, maybe even go back to the resort for a break and then go back in the evening. Um, but yeah, it kind of messes me up for like the Magic Kingdom. I had to figure out which day to go that was actually a full day and wasn't shortened because of the Halloween thing. Um, I am going to powder my face. Yeah, so this is all kind of like whirlwind stuff. So some of the errands, when I talked at the very beginning about errands, I've been having to get some stuff. I've been trying to not... Okay, I'm gonna give him a snack so I can keep filming. I'll be right back. It's early, it's too early, but your face is too cute, I know. Okay, if you hear any munching in the background, that is Harley. <laughs> it's way too early for him to have a treat, but we're here, that's what we're doing. So yeah, like I'm trying to, I'm doing a combination of trying to keep my costs down, but at the same time, like, Frig, I'm going on vacation. I haven't been on vacation in like two years. Um, I was gonna go to Italy, which was gonna be way more expensive. So I need to relax a little. Um, one thing, like again about Disney, is I don't think I'm gonna do any dining service. I haven't booked any reservations. I mean, everything's like booked anyway, I think. I don't know, I haven't even bothered looking. Um, Again, the vid is kind of like, the one thing I don't really want to do is sort of sit in a restaurant and eat. I'm not sure how comfortable I am doing that. Um, I mean, I've been kind of making some risks here and there. Like I went to a concert, I've been to a couple concerts, but I'm also like, I don't know, trying to be pragmatic. I also don't want to spend a lot of time sitting and eating. Um, I am looking forward to the food and wine thing, uh, but again, I'm gonna have to limit myself. That's something where, like I've already decided it's like, three food things and three drink things or four food things and two drink things and that's it <laughs> because um everything is like so indulgent like the cheese and the chocolate and i'm sure my heartburn is gonna love me after this trip um i'm just kind of using everything from this palette the hourglass palette um so so yeah i'm trying to keep some costs down um but I'm also like not stressing too much. So like the errands thing. Um, so I was like, I don't need to buy any new clothes before I go. I still placed an order at Arden. So if you don't know Arden, Arden's like a cheap, it's kind of like a sheen, I guess. Um, there was like this ad that came up with this cute little romper that was like $6. Cause all the summer stuff's on sale. I'm like, F it, I'm gonna buy some things. I don't know if this stuff's gonna even show up on time before I go. <laughs> but if anything, I'm going to have it for next year, um, next summer, which is fine for me. Um, but yeah, so like there's been a few things I had to pick up a new, I bought a new umbrella. I'm not focused. Camera, focus on me, please. I bought a new umbrella. Um, I do have an umbrella, but it's kind of big and I wanted one of those like really, I used to have one that's, I still have it. I think I should throw it out. I have like this really small compact one that I bought in Florida. Um, like 15 years ago, more than 15 years ago, it was like 2005. Um, and I loved it, it was awesome, but I think it's got a tear, it's definitely got a tear in it, I shouldn't say I think, I know it's got a tear in it, yet I still, I think I still have it. Um, so yeah, I was looking for like a smaller umbrella, so I did pay a little extra, I got one at the Hudson's Bay. Um, it's, doesn't, it seems like an okay umbrella, but it's like the right size. Um, so yeah, if you don't know Florida, Florida from like July, I don't know, maybe it's June. I don't know when it starts, but there's, you just get the rain. Every afternoon there's rain. You just have to embrace it <laughs> and accept it. It's just going to happen. Um, don't stress about it. So the other thing I think I need to get, I might already have a poncho, but I might get a new one. I don't know. So like little things like that, like I'm, I'm trying not to buy too much that I don't need. Um, the one thing that I did buy though, that was kind of excessive, was I bought this gimbal thing. Let me show you, let me show you. It's this thing, looks kind of funny. Um, it folds out like this and then you stick your phone on it right here and it's a stabilizer. So when you're, so I was testing this out, like again, if you go to my Instagram, you see the video with Harley, that's where I was testing this out. Um, Cause I took a video when I was walking down the street the other day for TIFF and it was so, <laughs> I don't know, it was so shaky and in and out. Um, it was even just the focus, I think, was going in and out. Uh, turn, there we go. Sorry, this is the one thing I can't figure out with this thing. Oh, there we go. I can never fold it the right way. Um, so again, yeah, I was playing with that. I wanna keep playing over the next few days 
um, to get more comfortable with that. I still haven't decided, like I wanna bring my big camera, big camera, my Canon, but I also don't, cause it's gonna be heavy. Um, so it's gonna be kind of a pain. Uh, but yeah, this was kind of a crazy thing to buy, but I'm hoping again to maybe vlog a bit more, just in general, like not just with this trip. Um, but I kinda wanna try vlogging a bit more. Like, there's a guy that does videos where he just walks around Toronto and I've always wanted to do that. Um, just walk around the city and just take, take a video of walking around the city. Um, but it doesn't work very well. I also do need a new phone. My phone is not very old, but it's not a good camera. I just have the iPhone SE. I like it because it's small. I hate all the new phones being so big. I'm a small person. The iPhone SE, I can use with one hand very easily. <sighs> and it, like I can put it in my pocket and everything. It's perfect. But the camera's not great. So yeah, that was kind of my one... I got that. The other thing that I got, it's not super expensive, but that I didn't have was a battery charger. Um, but again, that will be handy with like future trips or like camping. Like I have a, what do you call it? Where did I put the lid to this? I have no idea. I'll find it later. <laughs> I have like a solar charger thing, uh, but it's heavy. Like it's not something you're carrying, you want to carry around with you. So this other little charger, um, it's much smaller. Um, I'm just gonna finish this. At first I wasn't so sure about it, but I think I'm gonna keep it. I think it's gonna work. Um, just, yeah, because it took a little bit to figure out, like, it doesn't charge itself up very well if you plug it into an extension cord. So I have like an extension cord by my couch because the plug is behind the couch and it wasn't charging right, but if I just plugged it straight in the wall, it was fine. So I'm like, okay, we're fine, like it's fine. Um, and I tested like, it's kind of slow, like it charges, it's like 1% just under a minute so like if you need 15% it's gonna take 15 minutes which is kind of not great but I feel like I was looking at other stats on other things it's like that seems about right um this also took me a while to, to understand which connection to use because there's two different like power things on this but this will also charge my phone which I think is pretty cool too so I can use this to charge my phone because apparently the battery in this lasts pretty long as well so so yeah but the other thing is like I'm gonna have this and I'm gonna have my camera and I'm like am I gonna be carrying too much stuff I don't know I'll figure it out. I'm gonna do some test runs here in the city. I think people think I'm a tourist. I already had a guy. So I was filming, testing the, the, the thing, stabilizer down by the waterfront and some guy's like, oh, is that for TikTok? And I'm like, I don't even have TikTok. And then I'm like, wow, I sound like an idiot. <laughs> Cause it totally looks like I'm doing something for TikTok. I'm like, maybe I need to get TikTok. I don't know. I don't have TikTok um, actually. And I did just upload a short to my channel and now, now my feed, like my when I go to subscriptions and YouTube, half of it is shorts. It's like it's all mixed in with all the regular videos. And I'm like, I hate this. Can I not like just filter for regular videos and filter for shorts like YouTube? Uh, I'm not sure like the whole shorts thing. I don't. I don't know. I know it's the way things are going and people like them, but I'm just maybe one of those people that don't. I don't know. I was just sort of, I was annoyed. I don't mind that I, I'm getting more shorts, but can, let me filter. Oh, there's the lid. <laughs> Found it. Uh, let me like, if I just want to view shorts, like I actually don't even ever, I rarely view shorts. I'm curious, I'm gonna ask you guys that. Do, are you into shorts? Two things. Number one, do you like YouTube shorts? Do you watch YouTube, YouTube shorts? How do you do it? Like, I'm so, con con not confused, but I guess I watch YouTube mostly on my laptop, um, like when I'm getting ready um, or throughout the day. I get lunchtime and stuff. Um, and then I don't have TikTok. So that's my second question. Do you have TikTok? Do you like it? Should I do TikTok? I don't know. <laughs> I've been kind of hesitant to do TikTok because the whole like privacy thing and it's, yeah, I just feel like it's not a safe place um, to upload stuff and, you know, share all your information on. But I mean, at least all my information's out there anyway. I'm kind of one of those people that's like, ex I embrace the, I got nothing to hide kind of thing. I mean, I'm, I'm worried about certain things. Like I try and be like, I don't tell people my address or things like that, but um, anyway, this is the final makeup look. I guess, let me, I need to go fix my hair. I'm gonna go fix my hair later. Let's just accept the giant forehead. I will fix my hair later, but yeah, this is my final makeup look. I love this palette. Um, this makes me like blues more. I think what it is, the thing is if you're wearing blues, mix it with other stuff. So 
to get away from that like 80s blue eyeshadow look, you're not just slapping a blue all over the eyelid. You're gonna do like an outer corner. Or if you do blue all over the lid, you're gonna do a deeper corner with the brown or something. I think if you mix it with something else, it makes it work out a lot better. Um, but yeah, the quality of this palette is really, really nice. The colors, like it's, I would say it's like mid-range pigment. So it's easy for like beginners, but also people that like pigment, you're gonna get some good color. Um, yeah, I really enjoy this palette and it's different. Like none of my other palettes are like this. Like I said, I have that one trio in the Charlotte Tilbury palette that might be dupable by this. Um, but other than that, I don't think we really have these colors in any other palette. And I love the shimmers. Like there's three, four shimmers in here, like topper type shimmers, like lid shimmers that are really, really nice. And like, you can't really see it on camera, but I feel like in person, they're, they're very, they're that sparkly. They're very like, pixie dust sparkly kind of thing. Not like glittery glittery, not metallic, but somewhere in the middle. So yeah, anyway, I feel like I, all I'm thinking about is like Walt Disney World and my brain does not think about anything else right now. So it's a lot hard for me to focus. <laughs> so I'm gonna end this video now before I keep going. I hope you like this get ready with me. If you did, feel free to give it a little thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel here in Toronto, Canada. I hope you're doing well and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye.